Okay. When you were in sin, or if you are in sin now, and if you are doing evil, are you better at doing evil than before? Are you? Myself, when I would purposely do wrong often, I believe I lied so much to where I became a better liar. I believe I manipulated so much to where I became a better manipulator. I believe I fornicated and did other bad things like that. Let me say it like this. I believe I fornicated and did other bad things and I believe I became better at it. Why? Well, I think because I did it over and over and over and over again. I did not want to get caught in a lie, so I believe I practiced lying. I believe, you know, I wanted women to whatever, so I practiced fornication, I guess I can say, and things pertaining to it, because I want it to be better at it. Okay. And you may say to me, Kevin, what is your point? You want to get better in serving God, as in, in obeying his rules. So if you get good at doing evil by doing evil much, why would you believe you can become good at obeying God's rules by placing little or to no effort into it? Shouldn't you place more effort into trying over and over and over again? Let me say it like this. When you were in sin, or if you are still in sin, did you ever say to yourself, hey, doing evil is not for me. I should stop because... You know, I am not as evil as I want to be. Like, I want to be very, very evil. But since I am not there yet, let me just stop now because I don't think being evil is for me because if it was for me, I would be as evil as I can be now. Did you say that to yourself? I know I didn't. So if it took you time to be as evil as you were or is now or perhaps am now is is now I guess that is right to say so if it took you a very long time to become as evil as you are now Why would you think living for God is like a snap? Like a snap of the finger? Let me tell you this. I believe I have been changing for years. A person may say, well, if you have been changing for years, you should be at 100% in God already. No, I don't think so. I believe living for God is a continuous changing 
effort or part of life, whatever you want to call it. I think as you live for God, you will constantly change. I don't think there is like an end point to changing. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? With me, I am changing, I believe, and I believe that my understanding is increasing. So if you sit back and believe that you are going to reach the end, end point to being or to live for Jesus Christ by obeying his rules, I don't think there is an end point. I think we have to constantly change. If you say, Kevin, I don't have to change. God should accept me for what I am now. If you think that way, I believe you are deceiving yourself. So living for God is for you. You just have to be willing and accepting to change often. Me, I believe I change often, as in getting better often. Yes, there may be some things I have to work on, but I believe I am constantly changing. Like, <laughs> I am changing, I would say, I guess I can say I am changing to something I am not, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> like I am changing to someone, someone, I guess, that is not me, <laughs> which is good. So if it took you time to be as evil as you were or are, well, I believe it is going to take time to get to the point, I guess, where you expect to be in God. Where I am in God, which I am not saying I am on this extremely high level, where I am in God, I don't believe I ever expected to be where I am now. Huh? So be willing to change. Care less of this world and more about the things of God. I believe if you begin or stay caring about the things of God, I believe you will care less of the things of this earth. Like much of this earthly stuff may begin seeming insignificant to you. Let me stop here. God bless you.